Um, so very quick introductions. I don't want to break the ladies' flow here. Um, Shimati Mamata Didi uh, Dasi uh, met the devotees in the year 2000. Uh, she met Srila Gurudev and took Harinam in 2001. And as we kind of heard, it's quite an interesting story, more than an interesting story, how she took Diksha from Srila uh, uh, Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Maharaj in 2016. Uh, many apologies from me, uh, Mamata Didi, for spelling your name about in about three different rate ways and getting it wrong. Uh, but now, as I said to you on the WhatsApp, I have I have Mamata for the name Mamata. So I'm not going to get it wrong again. Uh, over to you, Didi. Please carry on. <coughs> Thank you, Puruji. Shila um, Guru Devi Ki Jai. Agyan Timirande Shagyan and Jana Shilakya, Chakshuru Militam Yenatis May Shri Guru Venua. Namo Vishnu Padaya Radhika i Priyatmane Shishina Patya Dazanara in Itinamine. She Kishna Chaitanya Kripai Kavita Yamaria Darakshiti Vaishnavanam. Kripavala Madhava Prashtakam. She Bhakti Dam Bharatim Asarayama. So uh, my quick um, obeisances to my uh, Guru Deva. I also offer my humble obeisances to all the devotees assembled today. Uh, especially to the Bodh Didi, Sati Didi, and Jagatam uh, Didi. Beautiful offerings. I feel very little in front of all of you. Um, I'm absolutely not qualified to speak, and please forgive me my errors, and please bear with me. Um, um, and giving me the opportunity to um, engaging me in Seva. Um, what I wanted to say is I can relate to the uh, Pushpanjali so much, uh, uh, which the Didi sh uh, just shared. Um, a, a couple of the Pushpanjali's like, I'm your father. I experienced the same thing, but I will uh, uh, share later on that Gurudeva said, I am your father in my eyes, looking in my eyes and saying this, I am your father. And then also uh, that um, Shira Gurudeva, uh, Shira Narayan Maharaj, when he left this planet, I also felt like I was left alone. And then when I had to um, really cry and beg and travel so much for my diksha, and then when, when Shira um, Bhakti Vigyan Bhakti uh, Maharaj also left, then I felt you left me again. And that was, I was really talking to Sheila Narayan Maharaj, like what we also shared here, Guru Dev is one. They're all one. They come in different forms. So I can really relate. And it's so beautiful to, um, to hear this from the Didis. Um, um, I want to share my first um, association with uh, uh, first uh, sharing uh, with Chile Narayan Maharaj, it was in Italy, it was in 2003. And um, it was a really blissful time because why we were in a complex with Gurudeva and Gurudeva was always around us. So um, we had many chances to receive uh, his darshan. So one day after Harikata, Gurudeva um, walked from the Harikata hall to the apartment complex to his room and what we always did was uh, I, uh, we always uh, sing kirtan and dance around him and and um, then we also did it uh, the, that day and then um, when Gurudev was walking from the Harikata hall to the apartment complex um, he reached the elevator and we were sitting in front of the elevator in two rows in front of the elevator and between the two rows Gurudeva could, could walk uh, to the elevator and catch the elevator. So um, when he walked uh, between us, we were singing a curtain like a guru deo kripa karake, and he was uh, walking to the elevator. And then the elevator came, the doors opened, and he walked into the uh, the elevator, and we continued singing like guru deo kripa karake mujeko, and then the doors closed and we stopped singing because the door closed mujeko, and then we stopped. And then what we did, we ran like crazy on the staircase while guru deo was in the, in the, in the elevator to the second floor. We were, we would run like crazy on the staircase too, um, so that we could um, reach the second floor before guru deo's elevator 
came on the second floor. So we did it like we all were running on the circus and then we almost slide in front of the elevator and exactly in the same row we said again and before the door of the elevator opened we continued the same curtain uh, um, uh, further so on the first floor we said and then everyone's running to the second floor and then when the door opened we said Moet je go up and Alina? And then when Gurudeva saw that, that we, we continued that, that curtain. I'm sorry. He had such a beautiful smile on his face. And it was like joking. It was very innocent. It was craziness. It was excitement because um, um, when we continued on the second floor, the curtain, um, we want we were really looking at a Gurudeva's face. What if, how is he going to react? And he smiled so beautifully that like we reached everything. Our goal is accomplished. And we we were sitting there, and Gurudeva was walking between the two rows. Now from the elevator to his room. So after that, we were, and, and I remember we were feeling so happy, and and then. Um, and everyone uh, left uh, to their own room. But now going back on the moment when, when Gurudeva was um, in the, uh, on the first floor in the elevator, when we were running on the stairs, if I remember that moment, if I go back to that moment, then the, what I really remember is that um, just imagine you running on the staircase with all your uh, god brothers and god sisters and you know for sure for 90-90%, you know for sure you're going to receive version of Gurudev because you have just met him and you know where he is and you're running literally towards him. So that moment on the staircase was a little bit of separation because we were not with Gurudev, but we knew we were going to receive version of Gurudev. And that moment that really breaks my heart. Why? Because on that moment, I'm so sorry. On, on that moment, we were sure there is a little bit separation, but you will see good with you. So it was a very beautiful moment. And when we uh, uh, saw Gurude again, um, um, you felt like you got what you wanted. And then everyone left to the room until the next Harikata. So in Italy, there was a constant meeting and separation, meeting and separation. And um, of course, we sat a lot of times in front of the room of Guru Deva. And the, the, the whole atmosphere was like full bliss because you were constantly waiting for the next darshan. And um, the same uh, thing uh, um, I experienced with my Diksha Guru Deva. Shira uh, Bhaktivedan Bharti Goswami Maharaji, um, going to Perkam every year. Um, I was uh, a little bit naughty. I, I skipped the Perkam party and I left. Um, when the Perkam party was going right, I was going left. Why? I, I was skipping the darshans to meet, uh, to receive darshan from my Harinam Gurudev, uh, from Diksha Gurudev, I'm sorry. So one day when the Perikam party was, uh, was going to Mayapur, uh, I knew, um, uh, no, it was another deep Perikam. I knew uh, Sheila Gurudev was in Gopinath Bhavan. So what did I do? Um, I went to Rindavan and I um, went to Gopinath Bhavan and I asked the Sevak who was, who was a guard in front of the room of Gurudev to please grant me darshan. And he said, Guru Maharaj is serving Prasad at the moment. And he said, sit there and chant. So I did that. I sat there and I was chanting, but I was so anxious and nervous and excited and happy all together uh, at once because I again knew I'm, go I'm going to receive Daishan. And I was alone. Um, and I was looking at the door. When will it open? And when will the Seva come outside? Um, but meanwhile, I had those questions in my head. I will ask this and I will share this. 
And I was like a child there sitting like I'm going to a candy room and I can choose everything what I want. So I was sitting there and waiting. And then after a bit, the doors opened and I was like, my heart was like going like racing. Uh, the doors opened and the silver gestured like, come in. And I was all alone. But I thought, okay, uh, the civic is here. So if I, um, uh, if I if I'm trouble, if I don't know what to do, then I can always ask the civic to help me. So I walked with the civic into the room. But what happened then? I I received version of Gurudeo. He was sitting on the katia in his room, and I very carefully took place on the ground, offered my pronoun, and then the civic walked through the room to another room. So I was alone with Guru Deo and I thought, oh God, what if 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 I don't know what to do if, or he's, he asks me something and I don't understand or anything. So, but I was sitting there and I thought, okay, now I'm alone with Guru Deo and Guru Deo looked at me in my eyes and I looked carefully back and um, that moment when I was sitting there alone with Gurudev and Gurudev was looking at me, I, I don't know how to describe, but it felt like everything around me didn't exist anymore. Everything fell down. I only saw Gurudev's beautiful face and he saw this low soul, this soul who has to be rescued. And, and, I forgot to ask all my questions. At the moment, I was just, it was like it was a flow. I, he was giving me something. And what I really felt was he was seeing me. He was seeing not this gross body, not, not anything, but really me, my soul. And this was the same exact feeling which I always had with, with my Harinam Guru, with Srila Narayan Maharaji. I always felt he, he's the only one who is really seeing me. In a way, I don't even know myself, let alone another another person. So this experience was so was so amazing. Um, and um, after a while, I don't know how many minutes or uh, passed away, and and I was sitting and I didn't ask any question. And then the Seba came out of the back room and he said. Uh, Guru Maharaj, you will, will rest now. So I, um, I was, uh, I was standing again, and then I remembered I didn't ask anything. I, I just sat there. So I said to the Sivik, "Oh my God, no, no, because I didn't ask anything to Guru Deo." And then he said, um, "I was, I was thinking about the instruction in shlokas like that we did pray the pate na pari prishna seva upadikshan ti gyan gyan eta tat vidarshana pari." Pari Prishnena asked the relevant question because why an Uttam Mahabhagat is to receive darshan of an Uttam Mahabhagat is so, so rare. Like El Brahmani, Brahmite, Bhagavan, Jinkon, Guru Krishna Prasad, Pai, Bhakti Lata Bish. In all the Brahmande, who is that fortunate soul who can receive darshan association of an Uttam Mahabhagat? So while I was walking away, from Gurudeva, I thought, oh my Lord, how is it, how could I forget to ask all my questions? And then I said to the Sevak, I didn't ask anything. And then when the Sevak said, called me really down, I said, okay, this is everything actually I needed to hear. I said, I didn't ask any questions. And he said, Guru Maharaj gives mercy, not with words, but with his eyes. So I felt so blessed. Costless blessings because I, I'm not just saying this because just to say, but really do not deserve it. But the, the mercy was flowing. The affection was flowing. I was thinking this nobody was sitting there and Guru Deva was, 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 is seeing you. And that will always stay with me for 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 always in my whole life and um uh yeah so now but now so the separation we're landed in now 
I yeah, of course, it's very harsh. So now I often think, when will I receive Dutch again? Because in my whole life, I have, I have experienced like I have, um, um, in a in, in a strange kind of way, I have I had to run or to do something to receive the Dutch and. Of course, it's all Gurudeva Skripa, but now I'm, I think that like, when I went to Purikram, I thought I'm going to Gurudeva, I'm going to there, the, that Bhajan uh, Kuti, because I know he's there. But now I'm I'm thinking where to run, where to which dham, where is Gurudev now? Um, and of course, I know our, our purpose is that Gurudev has to manifest in our heart through our Bhajan. But I am not that far. I really needed to see Gurudev with these eyes, and um, and that's that's a really difficult situation because um, when 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 is the next time you you will see Gurudev? I think when you um, when I leave my body, I think I hope um, they say. Um, when, Mah- when the Mahabharata speaks Harikata, um, I've li- heard this uh, often. When the Mahabharata speaks Harikata, run, run like crazy because you have to be there and you have to hear his Harikata from his lotus mount to your ears. And um, there was a time um, I was back in Holland and um, I was in a program. And I didn't check my app for a while because I was in a in a, it was a very busy time and I was in the program and the Prabhuji who was giving the lecture Radha Raman Prabhuji from the Hague he he was he was beginning his Harikata but before he began he said I'm I'm uh, um, reading my app and I'm um, I got the information that uh, Bhakti Vigyan Bhakti Kushan Maharaj is in critical stage and he it, it is very possibly possible that he's leaving this planet. And I was sitting there in the program and I thought, oh, oh God, I didn't knew I knew he was playing his sickness, Leela. I knew that, but it wasn't critical. So when I, when that Prabhuji said that I was like like this, what to do, where to run, what what can I do now? Because I was in Holland and to go to the dam, everyone knows how how uh, many hours it takes to travel. So when I heard it, I was so I was so shocked. And then uh, sitting there, I knew I need to go, but there was one problem. Um, of course, they wouldn't wait. Um, uh, Guru Deva would have a uh, parikram with the, uh, with his. They would uh, bring a uh, Guru Deva to all the holy places in Mayapur, and I think I had one or two days, or max, no, one or two days to reach the dam to um, attend the samadhi ceremony. This is a very long story. I won't go very deep uh, in that. Um, but I thought, what to do now? How will I reach it? How will I go? I had a job. The next day, I had to go to office. So I spoke to my very dear god brother, Brish Kishokubuji from South Africa. And I said to him, what to do? Will I have? Will I reach in on time? And what he said at that moment was really struck me again. And he said to me, run, did you run? So I... I I remembered again what, what we always hear in Harikata when, when Uttama Bhagat is speaking Harikata, drop everything and run to him. So I, he reminded me to that and I thought, okay, no matter what happens, I have to go. So my, my manager fired me because I wanted to go immediately and she wasn't, um, she didn't want me to leave. So I said, so keep the job. Uh, and she fired me, and I, I had, I think, two days to reach the dam. And well, I was uh, with one hand in, uh, in, uh, with the travel agency in my hand. The other hand was packing my suitcase like this. And then, after a long travel, a uh, long traveling to the uh, to the dam, I finally reached. And what I then saw was was the same place in Mayapur where I always sneaked away from the parikram to receive darshan was 
transformed in a samadhi bhajan kutir with with of course you all know uh, they will uh, gurudev would be offered in the ground so the same room where we laughed where we heard hari katha where we made jokes and where gurudev gave us affection i saw a ro- an empty room and the samadhi and that was so shocking that was so shocking for for me of course senior devotees can wrap their mind around it and they can they can uh, cope with it but um i will never um forget the expression of uh, puja padmadhav priya prabhuji all the uh, were a lot of uh, maharajas were present and puja padmadhav priya prabhuji was also present and we all know how how many years he served shila gurudev and also madhikshya gurudev and the whole atmosphere was in such a total grief we were there and they were doing abhishek of gurudev and there was a line we couldn't pass that line so we were at, at the line was like near me and i was like calling out for gurudev and i thought like crazy he was already in samadhi and still you're calling out gurudev gurudev so um that um i'm happy that gurudev allowed me to be there of course but um the whole experience with gurudev the remembering that moment uh when i was there with gurudev and all the maharajas and the moment the, that that place everything turned 180 degrees around and um we had the opportunity to offer sand and salt to gurudev and um that was like i was uh, holding the set in my hand and the salt and you had to walk through a way and then you would uh, uh come in the room of of the sam of a gurudev and then you could offer the the sand and the salt and i was holding the set and the, the the salt in my hand and i was while i was offering it i thought i thought oh my god uh, you gave me everything <laughs> like diksha mantra and I'm so sorry I'm such a baby I'm sorry i thought you gave me everything and look what i am giving you back a hand of sand and salt that moment that I, then i i really i felt like no you have to make this life an contribution to gurudev what he gave to you you have to put everything in it this can be it what you're giving so at the, the ceremony uh all the devotees offered the sand and the salt and then they put a a blanket um on a white blanket on gurudev and then the door closed and then we couldn't see what happened and but at that moment when the door door were, were closed it began to rain so extremely hard it was like the whole heaven was shaking and i'm not exaggerating it was really we were really looking like what is happening like what's going on it was raining so so very hard like the whole heaven was coming down and then after that and when the door again uh, opened um there was the the mood changed in intense grief to excitement and happiness don't ask me how i don't know i really don't know i was there and we were dancing and all the prodigies were were um were playing mridanga and dancing and it was like a one big family going through all these emotions and um that the day of samadhi that i felt so broken and lost and i thought i had the same feeling gurudev you left me you left me and then um um after the samadhi ceremony i was feeling this strange feeling in my heart and i thought what to do with the feeling how can i go home now so i thought no i cannot go home like this um so i left 
uh, Mayapur and I went to Navadibdha to the Samadhi uh, of Ashila Narayan Maharaji. And um, when, I, when I arrived there, um, I thought, okay, I want a, 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 a moment alone with him. So I waited till, until everyone was, uh, would take a, a, a prasad. And then I thought, okay, this is the right time to go. So I went there, but I, it really, when I arrived, it, it arrived in front of the Samadhi, it really like I had walked a marathon. I was so, so tired from everything. So I offered my pranam and I recited the Mahamantra. And it was like, like um, I was crying in front of Gurudev, of, in front of Hilana uh, Rain Maharaji. And it really felt like he was listening to my pain. It, it was really like you run to your mother and you share the, you, the pain you have. And she, and she listens. She just listens. And that gave... I was doing that and a true mantra, not like I was talking, I have so much pain. No, I was I was singing the mantra in the Bengali version. And and um and I was so tired, so I laid down my head on the ground in front of Gurudev Samadhi and the door were closed, it wasn't open. I laid down my head and I fell asleep. I fell asleep until a seva came and wake me up and he and he and at that moment I felt very calm, like like I what I had to do, I have done, and Gurudev have listened to me, and he has put a blanket of solace on me, like it's okay. But that's what I really felt. What 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 Didi just said, like when Shila Prabhupada left this planet, she felt what now? That was the same. Uh, no, no, I can't say the same. It was I had my feeling was. First, Shilina Rain Maharaji left this this planet, and then I was so shook up, like, who, what will I do now? And then again, my girl, they left me. That was what I was feeling. And then um, when I was in front of the Samadhi, I um, felt a, 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 a blanket of calmness again. And I thought, okay, Guru Dev, you're really listening. And you're really here because that this is something no one else can do. So, um, how many minutes do I have? I totally forgot the time. <laughs> uh, let me check one second. Um, about three minutes more. Three minutes. Okay. I would, uh, uh, yeah, I have to choose. I, I would love to offer uh, one shloka. It is from a Pajavali, and it is um, um, a recitation of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, where, where he he explains who we are, and it is um, also in um, in our Archan Deepika, uh, and it said Na Aham Vipro Na Chenarapatir. Now a peevaisho na sutro, na a humperini na chakriha patir, na vinashtito yatirva, kinto projin nikila permananda purnam rita te. Gopi Paratu Padakamalayo Dasa Dasa Nudasa. And the explanation is I'm not a Brahman, not a Kshastriya, not a Vaisha or a Sudra, nor a Brahmachari or Grihashta, Vana Prish or Sanyas. My only identity is the death of an insignificant servant of the servant of the servant of the lotus feet of Sri Krishna, the ever-expanding ocean of full nectarian transcendental bliss, who renowned as maintainer of the milkmaids of Raja. And then maybe one shloka Prabhuji for, for Guru Deva, who is, who he is, Tvangopikavrisharavistanayantikeshi um, Sevad 
अधिकारी गुरु निज पद दस्यम प्रदाय गुरु मम व्रज कानने श्री राधंग्री सेवा नर से सुखी सुखा As explained, O oh beloved spiritual master, you are always in the presence of the cowherd's girl Radha, the daughter of King Vishubhanu. Please award me service at your lotus feet, which are the prospectors of devotional service. Please place me in the ocean of joy by bestowing upon my ha- me happiness in the mellows of service at the feet of Radha in the groves of Vrajidham. Uh, very quick what i earlier said about the didis i really related guru deo i was sitting in front of me and i was saying something to my father and say and i said father and his uh, guru deo corrected me he said no and i was shocked and i said what what what, what is no and guru deo said to me he's not your father i am your father and those moments at uh, that moment you i was very shy and was a little bit smiling and now when i re- remember back then i think oh my why why i couldn't process that right on the right way so um i will not um go uh, yeah i have to stop it now Don't before the glorification i thought oh my god what will i say and now i i have uh, no time so I'm sorry that I uh, uh, spoke too much um, and uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Um, I would uh, end with, with yeah, Guru Deva sees everything. He is the all-knowing, all-present and, and we are so, so fortunate, but not only who, we who has received darshan like, like this, how we uh, we would meet another person, but also those person because I hear hear a lot of deities who don't uh, uh, have the chance to re- meet a Gurudeva in person, and I know they are in, in a lot of pain because they also wanted that. And like we say, we are very fortunate to receive those sessions, but they are also fortunate because the agony they feel, the separation they feel is also which reaches Gurudeva. So everyone is fortunate. Everyone who seeks Gurudeva in their life, everyone who wants to follow his Vani, we are all a family of under the guidance of Gurudeva. And I'm really, really thankful for that. So may my wishes to serve Gurudeva and make myself worth my initiation. And um Bon Chapel Patrol Bishikri Pasina Beach Petita Nam Bio Vaishna Bio Namonamo. Didi, thank you so much. Um I was just wondering before I after I close, would you like to uh close out with the bhajan? Um you've got a beautiful voice. You've got a beautiful voice. So, oh, um, oh no. So maybe if you could choose a bhajan while I while I close out, um that would be <laughs> wonderful. Thank you for your, it's been an amazing, uh, amazing Pushpanjali's today. Um, I think there's no coincidence that all three Pushpanjali's were given by uh, female devotees and there's been more crying and more feeling today than, um, well, actually there's always a lot of feeling, but there's something very special about the speaking today, uh, very, very heartily. Uh, and what one of the, um, one of the themes that's come up, I think, in two out of the three Pushpanjali's uh, was this idea about Gurudev being our father. And it reminds me of a really funny story. Actually, it was in Holland, Monitor, when I was, my dad was, uh, who's not, a, he was agnostic, actually. <clears throat> but he said, if I believed in God, your Gurudev would be my man. You know, he really liked Gurudev. And Gurudev put him up on the stage. So there was Gurudev, my father, up on the stage. And he pointed to me, he said, he said, uh, is he your is he your son? So my father said, yes. And then Gurudev said, well, he's also my son, so we must be brothers. <laughs> Which is really cute. Gurudev <laughs> sense of humor is fantastic. Um, and I loved, I loved oh. what you were saying. The elevator story was wonderful. And this kind of theme of running towards Gurudev and this idea of union and separation ran through your entire Pushpanjali between 
the 15 years that ran between your Harinam from Gurudev and your Diksha from Shivarti Maharaj, you know, there's a lot of union and separation there. And it, it kind of just took me to Jayavadharma where the different kinds of union and separation, the four types of Vipalamba and Samboga described, I thought that was really wonderful. Um, and I also loved it when you said that you forgot all your questions and how, how his mercy is with his eyes, not his words. That was so beautiful. And I thought the three, the two three letter words that came out of today actually, uh, one was cry and the other was run. So always cry for Gurudev and always run towards his Karakata, these two things. And both remind me totally of the Gopi mood. They, they, they're, they're crying and they're running. So thank you so much, uh, Mamata. Very beautiful, thank you.